yesterday was my birthday and I didn't vlog it at all. Why, you may ask? I don't have a reason. I just didn't feel like vlogging. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but I, I did go shopping. I bought some stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll give you a haul when I get back. I need to go get some late lunch breakfast. I don't know, I literally haven't eaten all day. I woke up kind of late, I woke up at like 12. And I just decided to get some work done because I had new clothes and this apartment is really nice. So I just wanted to take advantage and make sure I'm not like kind of rushing it when I have to leave. But yeah, yesterday was cute. I, I was supposed to go out with my new friend over here but she ended up getting off of work really late and honestly i was kind of tired anyway um you know because here they end up going out at like 12. i'm kind of happy that it didn't work out uh, this is my new necklace look how pretty this is literally so i bought it off of this little shop called la sandalia de hermes He's basically like a vintage reseller and he sells like um, decor and uh, old paintings and stuff. And some of it was jewelry. And I thought that was so cool. I literally thought that they, that he made it. <laughs> but no, it's just stuff that they have found. And he had like a whole little collection. And this is, this one's the one that like called to me and it's three little birds and it's blue and it looks like my birds <laughs> so so i had to get that as you can see this is kind of my usual attire a lot of the things that i brought i'm kind of saving for when i want to make content or when i'm going to mallorca and i'm going to mallorca in a couple of days i'm also going to be in barcelona so i want to make sure i'm taking photos in specific places for these specific things you know and i'm also gonna have danny to help me take photos um so i can really you know surprise y'all so yeah i'm gonna get going now finally it's literally <laughs> i left it so messy but that's what happens when you work i decided to work today i got myself some snacks some pelotazos, a pizza. Not great though, I will say. Today was so cool. <laughs> I made a really, really cool reel. Like my transition was so seamless and perfect. I was very proud of it. By the time that I was done, it was like three. So I was like, I should probably get some extremely late breakfast. <laughs> so I went to uh, the coffee shop called coffee del carmen which is it's c-o-f-f-i and the girl there she knew that it was my birthday because i had gone before and we ended up following each other on instagram like through the the coffee shop's instagram so i told her that i was gonna be there anyway i sit down well, actually no sorry right. i'm heading there and i see this shop it's like an artist studio and it had azulejos, the little, like the hand painted tiles. And I was like, whoa, this is so cool. So me being the nosy person that I am, I just started asking him about it. So I was like, this is so cool. I've never seen it being done. I've never seen that type of paint before. And I don't know if maybe no one asked about what he does, but he was like very excited. He gets up, he starts talking about everything. He's showing me all his work. <laughs> in serio wow yeah. Yeah. this man was so cool he has his work all over the world he gave me his card too his name is alejandro he's from the ukraine but he's been living here for like 22 years i think he's been doing that all his life i'm buying some azulejos obviously because i want some so i got one that has a number three um valencian oranges and flowers and just a nice little collection about like five it was about like a hundred dollars because they're not they're not cheap they're handmade one of a kind kind of you know they're like he like reproduces them but obviously they're all different because they're hand painted which i think is crazy i'm super happy 
And then as I'm walking out after I paid, um, he was like, here, like pick out uh, a fridge magnet. And I was like, oh my God, for free, thank you. Like he was so nice, so he gave me a free um, fridge magnet. So he was really sweet. And I left, go to the coffee shop. I go to the coffee shop, I get my cortadito and my jabón and um, my Spanish toast. It has jabón iberico with um, cheese on top and a little olive oil and tomate underneath. It's so good! So I get that, it's perfect. And so then my, you know, my new friend, I guess, Sara, hi. She brings, um, she brings a little tote bag that says like, you know, the, the branding for the coffee shop. She's like, here. Uh, un regalito, like a little gift, and I was like, so cute. I was like, thank you so much, that's so sweet. And I literally was recording myself drinking coffee as she hands me it, so that was a really sweet moment. Then I'm writing in my journal, and then she comes back and gives me a little uh, uh, chupito, which is like a, like a shot, but you just like keep like sipping it. You don't have to like take it, you don't have to throw it back. Um, it was really good, and again, I don't know, it just sounds so special today. I felt really good and I felt like this city really likes me. I like this city too. And then I get on the phone with Danny and you know how we're gonna, we're supposed to go to Mallorca. So um, she gets here on Tuesday. I convince her and I was like, why don't we stay like a few more days in Valencia when we get back from Mallorca? So we ended up doing that and we're booked. And we're gonna stay until May 13th now. Well, May 12th, technically. So yeah, be happy. So Airbnb unlocked. It's so pretty. Unfortunately, we're only here for one night. I wish we could stay here for, ooh, for longer. It's so pretty. This is probably the prettiest one we've seen. Look, look at the kitchen. Just look at this kitchen. Are you kidding me? That is so cute. Everything about it is like perfect. I would live here. This would be my living headquarters. Look at this bathroom. I'm about to film a TikTok. Hey. Danny is getting here soon. It's about 12 and she gets here at like 4.30. So I'm gonna get some food because I'm starving. And also the Airbnb that I stayed at before, like he was so unresponsive and it pissed me off. Like. I was asking him where to leave the keys. I wasn't sure if like his mom needed to pick them up or like he was gonna pick them up or whatever. So I just left them there. And even when I would ask him questions, like he wouldn't say shit. And now I have to give him a fair review and I hope that he doesn't say shit about me because I was, I'm an angel. I'm a fucking angel, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna do my makeup, just get ready for the day. And then I'll go pick up Danny at the airport. We came to La Calita, which is a go-to, you know, for me personally. She's a regular. I'm a rag. Um, and I've been showing her my old neighborhood. Grounds. Oh, I miss it. I it's really so do. cute over so here. I, I, get, I feel like it only gets better at yeah. night because all the lights come out. Yeah. And I have to walk you through the little like fire, plaza. There's like in front of the restaurant, there's like a fire pit. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, I like it over here better than, our Airbnb is so freaking cute, but I get what you were saying now. Yeah, like, like stay if you want to be, yeah. like, here, here, that's what I was like, it sucks, because, like, it's it's a 10 minute walk, it's not bad, yeah. but you're still, like, on the outside of, like, everything yeah. that's going on, so. It, it's different, it's definitely a different yeah. vibe, if, where we're staying feels, like, very local. Yeah, and very, like, like, it's, like, residential, like day to day, cute, yeah. every day, yeah. Yeah, this is, like, Europe, yeah. this, like, feels like Europe. I almost like, felt like, I feel like I... <coughs> spoiled it for myself with getting an. I mean, I didn't know obviously that yeah. I was I was gonna like it this much. Yeah. But I got one literally like smack Dead center, center I know, I of everything. Where... I know. I was like, damn. I wish it could have, or at least like, if I would have known that that was like where I should be, yeah. I would have booked it for the whole. But it makes trip. sense that most Airbnbs are booked here. This is such a good time yes. of year to travel here. Oh my god, the weather's perfect. I mean, I've only experienced the night, but. Yeah. I can imagine if it's like has this little chill that it does, it's probably really warm and mm -hmm. nice during the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's nice. Yeah. Today it was pretty warm. Yeah. Mallorca's supposed to be hot. It's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So Danny just ordered in Spanish. Oh my God, we can draw here. I think I can. Oh, punto. <laughs> Periodo is uh, your period. That too. Also. Or. Bobby loves an English breakfast. Cake. I do. I do. So you like my cafe bombo. Which, which one should bon, I get? Bon. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Same. No, get um, oolong. Oolong tastes good. Where do you see? Oh, here. Yes. But it has rose and flower and... and but manzanilla is um, cabinet. It's good for your... Okay. And it's good to sleep. Digestivo and digestivo. Digestivo. <laughs> Antioxidante and revitalizante. <laughs> revitalizante. Okay. Punto. Yeah. <laughs> Señor. Para mí. Yo me da, quiero. Sí, me da. Me da. Me da. Me da. This lotes fermentados, botones de rosa, flores de manzanilla, romana, maracuya y manzana. Maracuya. Maracuya. Y manzana. Manzana. Manzana, ok. She's Italian, everybody. Manzana, ok. Digestivo, antioxidante. Digestivo. Digestivo. Yeah. Get that phlegm in there. Y revitalizante. Santenazante. That's yeah. hard for me because since I speak Italian fluently, um, <laughs> Italian it's yeah, but not always. Uh, verde, genetive, <laughs> She's French. Okay, okay, and <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. getting all her nationalities mixed up, everybody, please. <laughs> yeah. She's a world traveler. Vale, 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 She's vale, a world vale. citizen, okay? Ken <laughs> Inglibre. <laughs> Sound it out, Ken. Looks like Hebrew. Ken Inglibre. First off, I, just for any non-Spanish-speaking people, this bitch just said sound it out, and it's literally spelled J-E-N. Now, I, being a Spanish-speaking My woman, name starts with a J. I know because I'm cultured that the J is a Yeah, and the R is not a, the, it's a Yeah, okay, so Kenkibre. Kenkibre. Yeah, there you go. Limon, menta, oh, men. <laughs> yeah. Pime, pimienta? Oh, pepper? Regaliz? It's probably a plant. It, it, honestly, it'll just taste like green tea with mint and some lemon. Okay, or that's should I get this one? Yeah, that's what I need. I, I would think so. Oh. So this is it. Say it. Love it. Verde. And he libre. And he libre. 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 Re fuerte. Okay. Es una palabra difícil. Libre igual. Libre. And he libre. Verde. And he libre. Yeah. Yeah. Gracias. Gracias. Yay. Punto. Okay, okay, I know exactly what I'm doing. All right, move this guy. Okay. What? <laughs> You're a psychopath. <laughs> what the fuck is that, Ben? What is that? Those are birds? Yeah, Danny. <laughs> yeah. My birds have elongated wings. What? Okay, eagle. Is there elegant? Mine are okay, American. <laughs> very humble pigeon. Okay, <laughs> like I just have very soft wings that fly. <laughs> oh, this is a this is like a, this is an air balloon. I'm gonna make a basket. My tay. Verde and libre. Oh my god. Hey, I want it to be cool because I want to do this. Ready? Period. Wait, I want to do it too. Oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of hungry. Hi, guys. What Ooh. Do you... Oh, sorry. You have I to ask. Okay, sorry. I'm kind of mm. hungry. What do you want? 
Ooh, a macaroon. Oh, oh. from La Dorée in Paris. Buenos días. Good morning vlog. You saw the transition? You, you saw, saw that? that? You, you liked it? it? You enjoyed it? We're directors. Period. I'm so waking up. Bear with me. Yeah. You look cute though. Thank you. In, you. in your little pink. I did my hair. Look at this pretty view. Oh la la. They're Barcelona! We're so cute. cute. Stop. I wish somebody on that side could get us doing this. Excuse Neighbors. Me, <laughs> Hello. All right, dope shuffling skills. This lamp is to die for. Also, the view. We have like 360 view basically. Big purr. <laughs> I have. The bathrooms are so beautiful. I love how we don't. Well, I guess there's like two sinks anyway, but. We won't have to fight over for things. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Period. Um, <laughs> I love this bathroom. You, uh, it's so pretty. Sagra de Familia? Sagrada Familia. Sagrada Familia. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> the slow zoom is so, so slow. So slow. This is so You pretty. should shower while I tub and then you tub while I shower. <laughs> Then we can talk about life. Yes. And break each other's pubes. I love <laughs> All right, go. Two things. First, if you have a tote, carry it in front of you. Second, if you have a bolero, put it on on top of said tote so it can't be taken off. Period. Should I try? Yes. Ah, I'm being snatched. Psych. <laughs> Privacy tassel? <laughs> we had that before. Did we? I didn't yes. see it before. It's a privacy tassel. No socks here. Okay, <laughs> listen. Danny was wishing for free dinner. Yes. Which we're working on. <laughs> Which we're trying to we're trying to do. But I was wishing for free champagne. I think that might be wine. What is this? Look, <gasps> hold on, hold on. Let me take a video for our vlog. Oh, I, I got my wish. Sweet. <gasps> Shut up. <laughs> it is champagne. It is champagne. <laughs> Shake it up, bitch. If you leave that, it's called. Sorry, I will not. It's okay. Look, the shades are back to normal. <laughs> Can you show my toes? Please? Guys, I accidentally put the shades up. Because Javi's not a pro. But, no, I have never been in a fancy hotel like this. Or the fancy hotel I've ever been. No, that's a lie. You stayed at the Mark. Javi stayed at the Mark Hotel in New York City. That's where they stay for the Met Gala. When did I do that? When the day you met your man, your boyfriend. <gasps> hey, throwback. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Can I place an order? Yes, nineteen oh one. Um, okay, can I have um, an order of rice and a miso soup? Yes, can I get an order of the chicken wings? Yes, and then um, can I have the salmon nigiri? Okay, close your eyes. Are they closed? Mm -hmm. Okay. You have two guesses to tell me what it is. And you have 10 seconds. 
one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Strawberry. I actually don't know what it is, so I don't know how this is gonna work. It's like um framboesa. What's that? It's raspberry. Mm. Oh yeah, that's raspberry. Okay, that's fire. I like it. Okay. Yeah, they're very good. They're like um good texture. I was used to closing your eyes. <laughs> what? This is like coffee. Caramel. Coffee? Could be. Put this one. <laughs> oh, passion fruit. Done. Ew, ew. It is. I should have taken a bite. You don't like passion fruit? Mm, not in the back. <laughs> now you're putting it to your lips. Coffee. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad. Yeah. Okay, right, let me swallow this. <laughs> right. Abril. <laughs> Lemon. Ew. Mm, I'm so glad mm, I didn't try it. Shove it in my mouth. 71 euro for four chicken for wings. This. Chicken wings. Once in a lifetime. It's not bad. Mm. Okay, it's guess so what? Good. It's time for brekkie breaks. I got ready in silence because I'm still waking up. And I'm kind of up now. Yeah. And oh, we're dressed. We had a morning coffee. Yeah. Look at her. I feel like I need like some oranges. I don't know. Some like orange. Orange. just a pure S orange. Something no refreshing. juice. Refreshing orange. Yes. Like a full orange. I wanna. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come boiled eggs. So I wanted boiled eggs with fruit and tea. Hola. Cristina, ¿quiere decirle hola a mi canal de YouTube? Hola. Nuestra nueva amiga. Soy de Chile y con No, abuela. A no, amiga. Bueno, mi nueva abuela, abuela, ahora, mi nueva abuela. Ahora soy su abuelita de, de aquí de España. Sí. Nos encontramos. Nos encontramos aquí en Barcelona. Yo soy de Puerto Montt. Tenemos, Mont, tenemos de muchas cosas en común. Sí. Demasiado. Sí. Yeah, I Is is a woman no. after your own heart? Is that a saying? I don't even know what that means. Oh, a woman after your own heart? I have no idea what that means. Oh. I've never heard it. It's like a woman that's just like you. Like you love a woman like that. Cause, Cause like she's just like you. Like this is a woman after my own heart because she es eats como yo. two ice creams and like I would do that. Like I love that. Wolf, we've had a blast today. I love when I let Javi Huh? <laughs> I said I love when I let Javi We've had a blast today, but I'm having dulce de leche ice cream. La Sagrada Familia right there. Big purr. Look, okay, so we are on our last bus ride. We've had a long day and a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been so much fun. And this ride is like two hours long because yeah. we're going like just around. Around town. Around town. And then we have our dinner, and then tomorrow, my So we are headed to dinner. This is a specially curated dinner by Nobu Chefs, just for us. So we are dressed for the occasion, dressed to impress. I have my cute new little bag. Look at that bad bitch right there. Hey, ooh, hell yeah. So we're going to the Nobu restaurant. Yeah, we are. On the house, because Nobu house. loves us. Because we are Nobu bitches. Period. And the chef has put together a complimentary menu for us. So we're going to the Nobu restaurant. We're sitting here to have cocktails. Are you going to get emphasis on cock? <laughs> Just kidding, O'Shea. Just kidding. What? Enjoying ourselves, clearly. Forgot to vlog the drinks. This is a passion fruit something. Seen alcohol. Sashimi. 
sashimi? Sashimi. Oh yeah, it is like sashimi. Yeah. It's a Japanese um, seasoning right here. here. Shiso spritz. She sounds brand. She really is. I did not vlog the first bite. But it was delicious. And, it and was you can check it on TikTok because we both filmed a what we ate at No Yeah. Next course, we already ate the first one, but it had like hidden wasabi in there. So we got that. And then we got miso. Okay. Boom. You don't know. Okay. Okay. Do something sexy and pour it on your hand. No, wait a It's not. It's for the same. You guys, remember One. to always be really nice to waitresses and treat them with respect. Always. Always. We're here. Smooth flight. This is our street. Very cute. I feel like that construction might not be great, but I love that door. Who does shit? Hey. So everything's very, you know, rustic minimal this is obviously a kid's room which we're probably not going to use beautiful bathroom beautiful everything big purr this is like a townhouse basically this is a linen closet this is the first room very cute danny's gonna stay in this one and then it has like a little outdoor patio here very cute and another shower little office area and then up we go I'm gonna have to bring my suitcase sadly up and up and up and up there's gonna be great workout every single day but next bedroom this is gonna be mine sliding here is beautiful I love it it's like it's almost like a little balcony in here but oh you can see the neighbor's yard this is this will be my bathroom. Boom. This will be great for like, get ready with me. Excitement. Oh, kitchen. Living room. Baddie that came with the, the house. baddie. Look at those. Yeah. These are so cute. Yeah. Kitchen, beautiful. Stocks, bar, or what? No. Shots. Just olive oil. <laughs> Let me show you. Bitch. Like, this is not a drill. Like, look at the shower. You're joking. Like, I want to be out here all the time. I like green grapes. Yeah. We're also filming um, for my TikTok. If you guys know, you know. I, everywhere I travel to, I do the trying snacks in fill in the blank. Ice cream. And then these local ones. Uh, vanilla and almond. Boom. Chippies. Cheese and chips that are universal taste different everywhere. Yeah. So this is going in the snack hall for sure. I'm well. so excited. And of course, we're not going to be stanking up in this beach. So neither all our butts or our booties. Hi. Go ahead and wait. Look at our Airbnb. This is an outdoor shower. We're on the roof right now. So it's a townhouse, three floor townhouse. Yeah. Okay. Why is it? Okay. Look. Have oh god, these look so stupid on me. Why would you ever <laughs> have me wear those? No, I don't look good in sunglasses. That's such a lie. I look like a fly. We're <laughs> here. How do we feel? Honestly, 20 out of 10. Wow. I agree. We're going on a boat. Solitude. Probably we're with yacht. Yeah. We're on a yacht yeah. and probably we're with yeah. Guillermo. And then. <laughs> and then the next day, we might also go on another, go boat. another boat. Yeah. Good morning. We are going on a boat today. Okay, we're gonna shake some ass on a yacht in Mallorca in a thong, okay? It's like Chocapic from Chile. It's so good. Mm. I go to breakfast when I was a kid. This was my go-to breakfast. We just jumped in the water. Look how beautiful it is.
The best mouth in the world. Oh <laughs> my god, yeah. with Nutella. You better choose. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay, you better get in and get lost. It's okay. I only need like el cachito. No. I found some chanclas. In case anybody want to act up at the beach again. Be, be motherfuckers. Change of plans, we decided to go hiking. <laughs> In chanclas. Also, I realized I got a nine in men's, not women's. Oh, fuck. So they're a little loosey goosey on. Basically, we followed this article and it gave us like instructions. They sucked. And they were not great. We really trusted her at first. Oh, how did you do this? And con mucho oh, cuidado. Love. Con mucho oh, cuidado. Love vlogging? Yeah. Y'all see how Javi just be leaving me for dead? What are you talking about? Your chanclas are more sturdy than mine. You got it. She got them designer chanclas. <laughs> I don't, I, dude, I almost changed into my sneakers. I don't know why I didn't do that. Almost there, peeps. I think. so weird. I feel like I'm coming back home. Absolutely. Oli! Stunning! Look at you! You're so far and so tall. I made it. Where's Danny? The stairs are fat girl approved. Period. Oh, this is annoying. <sighs> okay. This doesn't have any pull thingies. What? How do you open that? <laughs> oh. What did you just do? This. Graceful is her middle name. We are not okay. We went to a food spot to get food. And it was not good. So there's that. We're at the beach now. In these very small towels. Or oh, my pillow. I'm pillow. We're out of our Airbnb. Which means we're going to another Airbnb. And as you can see, we're on a whole bus because our, our suitcases are big and chunky and clunky and thick just like us so it doesn't fit in the common taxi half the time so we got denied twice so we have We're to download like, not in a in a common area yeah a this is area. like a more like chill laid back like by the beach area so yeah, we're going back towards the center now and we're gonna do some shopping later but then. Then. and we're now this is perfect because i can just do or message the host and be like hey we're like 10 minutes early can we like just go in but yeah we uh, there's this app called free now yeah free now all download it word. all in one word all one word. all one word all, all in, in one, one word, word. Honestly, that. I feel like I haven't eaten in two weeks, like a meal, like I've just... Yeah, food here is not the best. <laughs> like, I, like, yeah, like a lot of snacking has been going on. And I'm not, I hate snacking. I'm not a snacker, but I have to snack here. I know. It's hard out here for a beer. Like, I think, I think for the first, like, week for me, it was fun because I was just, <laughs> it was, I was walking, eating, walking, eating, walking, eating. But I, I feel, feel like, like long Valencia term, might be a little bit, like the place we went the first night wasn't bad in Valencia, <clears throat> in the historic area. Oh yeah, and I think them. too because that's I feel like there's more like culinary stuff there because yeah. people go to visit all yeah. the time. So yeah, honestly, the food that yeah, like I don't think I was ever mad at the food that I had. Yeah. So yeah, we're back in my town, baby. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. 
I belong here. That's all I'm saying. I'm getting a tattoo and I'm waiting to go in. The place is literally right up here. It's called Tatuarte and it has great reviews and everyone's been really happy with their tattoos. I'm getting tattooed by Carolina and she does like, you know, the cute, pretty, ornamental, dainty tattoos. Unfortunately, our last day no. and it's raining but I gotta go I don't want to leave but I gotta go right now so I have my cortado look how pretty it is <laughs> oh just a little bread you know try and horchata valenciana San Tomaso, if you've never been. Friends, we've made it to so long. Thank you, my friend. Hello. So, shocker, I'm back. I've already worked through my post-vacation blues, which definitely, you know, it's a thing. It's a thing that happens. Once you like tweak your reality a little bit, you're never gonna go back to being the same. As I drink my freshly made espresso, I learned how to make a cortado. Like that's how much my trip to Spain changed me. I kind of wanted to do like a recap. Well, not a recap, but I guess like true real outro for the videos that I posted while I was away because I think it just deserves that. I think it was like a, a big chapter of my life to go on my first solo trip ever and I ended up staying for a little bit longer than I planned so you already know that it was great. You can see how great that it was. I showed you all the little bumps and you know thoughts that I had throughout. Even if you weren't doing anything travel related anyway whatever you're planning on doing or whatever you really want to do do it it's such a simple thing to say but no matter what you do there's going to be learning lessons and experiences right so why wouldn't you want to experience those things if you are scared operating out of fear is not going to take you anywhere close to any goal that you may have so you need to just jump in there okay no matter how scary it can be just be confident in the fact that everything is gonna turn out okay maybe it'll be rough maybe it'll, maybe it'll be like a little bit of a rough ride or lonely or it can be sad upsetting or maybe it's super happy and by not doing it i feel like in many ways you are letting yourself down i never want to live with any sort of regret i think I mean, what, I'm 28 now. I don't think I have any regrets or any big like life decisions that I made that I maybe shouldn't have done because the way that I think about things, I'm always saying, okay, maybe this wasn't the best decision, but if I had made that decision, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. I always want to look at things that way because it makes me even more confident of the decisions that I am making. I feel like I'm doing a lot of things that teenage Javi really wanted to do and things that she like dreamed of and she always wanted to like travel. I feel like a lot of people have that dream anyway. I know I'm not alone in that. 
obviously. <laughs> it also takes a lot of privilege to be able to even do that, to be able to get out of your hometown or to be able to get on a plane and go somewhere. And the fact that I was able to do that by myself, um, to provide for myself, I didn't have to ask for help or I didn't have to, you know, I didn't have anybody sponsoring anything, you know, and I, I feel like I owed myself this trip. I think a, a lot of my, a lot of you guys, a lot of my followers or just you know people that like my content they know how much i love to do solo dates and like hang out by myself i love living alone and that's kind of been my whole thing for years like i guess since i've been single for the most part i think i've really been <clears throat> nurturing and strengthening my relationship with myself and why i like to do things on my own not in some like i've mentioned this on my instagram not in an isolating way but as a confidence boost i always pride myself in being reliable and i think i'm reliable for other people i want to make sure i'm showing up for myself as well and i want to make sure that i'm reliable to me this could be about many things you know i feel like sometimes i set goals for myself and i don't make them happen technically not letting anybody else down i don't count it as a letdown but it is a letdown because I'm letting myself down. If there's if there's certain goals that I wanted to reach and I was just like, oh, it's fine. Like, I'll just worry about it later. I have other things to do. I don't want to do that to myself. I was so happy to plan everything out. I, you know, bought my own tickets. I did my own research. I set myself up for success basically because especially when it comes to traveling i feel i need to know exactly where i'm going i need to know where i'm gonna be at um i really commend people who can literally just buy a ticket with probably no return and they don't even know where they're staying and they'll buy the hotel like a day before like i can't do that i need the security of knowing where i'm going where i'm gonna be all the time also, I'm, I know my mom would probably need the security as well, so I'm just very proud of myself that I was able to do that and for me and and I, I would have been upset if I hadn't pulled through, you know? It's one thing to just be like, I'm going to Spain next year, I'm, I'm going to Italy, I'm going to Greece, I'm going to Australia, Japan, whatever, and then not even plan for it. And I honestly, I really saw myself doing that. I really saw myself being like, yeah, like I want to go, but it's it was kind of still in the back of my mind. Like, no, do not put it in the back burner. I talked about this a little bit on my Instagram as well. Like, I feel like that Instagram post kind of said everything that I wanted to say. I just feel like this needed to be in video form as well. Um, I've been back for a week, and at first I was like a little, a little unhappy coming back. Like, I was sad. Even when I was packing in Spain, I was tearing up i felt very safe where i was and as you can see i went to many places but the one that has a piece of my heart for life is valencia and i just felt it was such warmth there that i didn't expect to feel and all of this started honestly because of astrocartography and if you haven't done that yet i highly suggest you do it you put in your birth birth chart basically into this website astrocartography.com i'm pretty sure it is and it gives you the whole map and there's all these lines and it looks super confusing but it's basically all the planets that run through the map on like that like has to do with your birth chart so i had a my mercury line was doing a straight shot through valencia and many other places like your mercury will touch different places obviously and i looked at it way after i decided that i wanted to go and this was only like amplifying the want to go when i was telling uh my friend hasire about it i was like yeah i just really want to go to spain so we started checking our astrocartography she found a line for her is in la and like all these things we're looking at these places and i was like oh my god i have one in spain and i'm like zooming in zooming in zooming in and it's right through valencia so i was like okay this is only making me want to go more and that's kind of how the quest started i everybody would ask me like why valencia like it almost sounds a bit random i guess because it's not a huge like well-known city 
and people would expect probably like Madrid or Barcelona or Sevilla even but I was like I mainly want to go to Valencia and I don't know why and I think I just something in me just knew that I would love it and the more I researched the more I like saw pictures i was like yeah this is it like i'm so excited to go so i'm kind of already planning on going back obviously i want to see other places i went to sevilla i went to barcelona i went to mallorca mallorca was beautiful i low-key wish i had more days there i low-key would really like going to mallorca by myself that also would be a vibe i am foreseeing many more solo trips maybe i i was thinking like every year i wanted to do one and Hopefully every year I could go somewhere else. I just would love to visit Valencia again. <laughs> but I feel like that's kind of stupid. I don't think that's stupid actually. I just feel like I should probably take advantage of going to other places as well. The motto of Natalia Valdebenito, she like, <laughs> if you know her, you already know the joke, but she was talking about types of friends and uh, there's always the one that's like the party girl who like, gets fucked up and she's super drunk and she's like la vida soy la vida soy which is life is today which is kind of like living in the now like you know and i heard that and it just it went in my heart like i was like that's me not to say that i'm drunk all the time i'm not i do love me some tequila I'm a person who has a lot of trouble staying, enjoying the present because I feel like I always have to prepare for the future and have to, so what am I doing in the next couple months? Like what's happening? And just wanting to take all this control and I feel like hearing la vida es hoy, it's just like a constant reminder. Don't be surprised if I get that tattooed, okay? I hope y'all took away something from all of my adventures and it inspired you to do something a little crazy. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you for sticking by me. Thank you for being a part of my adventures. And I hope you're having a wonderful day or a wonderful night or whenever you're watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye.